morning dear students so in this i am going to explain about the power steering what you mean by power steering how it will work how helpful for power steering in a automobile vehicles okay let me understand what you mean by power steering so power steering is nothing but it is a system which will help the drivers to steer the vehicle by augmenting the steering effort needed to turn the steering wheel making it easier for the driver to turn is called as power steering that means uh, steering which will helps to turn left or right very easy or smooth to the driver is called as power steering okay so normally what is the main difference between power steering and normal steering is so as we know as we indicate uh, the power system power steering system that helps in steering the wheels by using some auxiliary network some gearbox network okay that is called as a power and normal steering is a system in which the steering which will uh, force manually which is used for the steering okay and it is also called as manual steering okay now that is the main difference between the steering here in manual go in manual manual steering manual force is applied in power steering some mechanism are used that is the only difference between power steering and manual steer uh, manual steering okay next how it will work power steering what is a, it it, um, it consists of main four parts that is reservoir steering gear box rotary valve pump okay the power steering pump pump is normally made up of wind type pump or it's similar to the type of wind type of pump in this the fluid is compressed or pressurized at the given required quantity and it is also and it is connected to the engine it will operate with the help of engine to supply the power that is called as power steering pump and power cylinder power cylinder is act as a double acting differential cylinder in which the fluid can flow uh, any direction either right or left in a, a linkages and steering response to left and right turns is slightly different okay now that is about power cylinder so what is reservoir as you know reservoir it will store the um, uh, working fluid and steering gearbox here steering gear enclosed in a casing known as steering gearbox um, based on this uh, the steering mechanism work okay in in this we are using gearbox is rack and pinion mechanism so next one is rotary valve as the name indicate rotary valve so with the help of this a power steering system includes the uh, valve sleeve in which the rotor rotary carried out with the controlling the fluid flow from the supply pump to a cylinder of the power steering system so with this uh, valve um, can control the fluid across the um, cylinder pump okay now that is the main function of rotary valve next pump pump is nothing but it is operated with the help of engine and the how much amount of required fluid we need that uh, that much of amount we um, taken from the pump and it depends upon the engine speed also okay now and here vane type of uh, pumps are using so this is a complete diagram of an um, steering work steering mechanism how it mean it, this is about the round shape that is called as a steering wheel and this is rotary wall and this is steering gear box and that type pump pulley and this is a wheel and the main parts of uh, this is gear box in, in this uh, the, we are using rack and pinion gear box okay so here the from the rotary wall see look at here um, the rotary the steering wheel is connected to a connected to a long shaft and along with a rotary wall is connected and here there is a some linkages parts are connected across between uh, across the this link that is connected in between two wheels okay so here the tires so here tire in and tire out also takes place during uh, motion okay and from the pump from the pump a fluid is circulated through a rotary wall across the linkages and here we are using double acting cylinder fluid uh, cylinder as a from the pump a working fluid is coming out to the um, rotary wall in rotary wall uh, from the rotary wall it is supplied to the double um, acting cylinder fluid okay now this is normal working process when the um, steering wheel is turned left or right the working fluid direction also will changes left and right according to the based on the wheel rotation okay and in this mechanism uh, we are using a rack and pinion mechanism based on rack and pinion mechanism the steering systems are um, work takes place 
okay so, uh, here different types of uh, power steering hydraulic electro hydraulic electrical what we are seeing this is um, hydraulic power system so hydraulic is an name indicate working fluid we are using to turn the uh, wheel okay this same mechanism is there here okay now here power steering mechanism two wheels in and out mm, pressure tube this is working fluid pressure tube and fluid lines rotor revolve uh, from the pressure tube or wind pump uh, wind pump uh, coming wind pump a uh, fluid is coming out from that and it transfer to the rotor revolve from the rotor revolve um, from the rotor revolve from the rotor revolve uh, from the rotor revolve uh, a working fluid is applied across the uh, linkages that is rack and pinion mechanism tire rod hydraulic piston so this is normal working when the steering wheel is rotated left or right side the working fluid action also changes okay now and this rotary control wall will control the flow of fluid how okay now how much fluid uh, this required that much flow amount, that much amount of fluid is supplied to the um, this hydraulic piston or this crankshaft entire system so based on this uh, uh, turning of uh, wheel takes place oh this is about the power uh, steering pump mechanism so in this same i wrote here in this type of power steering system as we discussed the hydraulic force is used multiple as steering input force in order to smoothing the steering the front wheel the hydraulic force generated by a series of component that includes the hydraulic cylinder rotary pump hydraulic line highly compressed hydraulic fluid and a coupling mechanism that can be coupled this hydraulic system with rack of the steering system so the main purpose of uh, this is used to uh, uh, to this main purpose is to so running the smooth one okay now multiple steering input smoothing the steering of the front wheel that is the main purpose of we are using the use of power steering and the working is uh, same the told now when the driver provides the input by rotating steering wheel the hydraulic pump driven by the engine start the pumping the highly compressed hydraulic fluid through lines so this means from the wind pump the drivers when the engine start the hydraulic uh, fluid will passes through the near to the compression hydraulic fluid so uh, next one the hydraulic pressure is produced by the pump enters into the hydraulic cylinder which then applies the ensure um, that um, ensure that the cylinder piston should be uh, connected across the linkages that main thing is there next one the piston which is under high pressure start moving from one end to the another end which in turn pushes the further fluid through lines with this moment of piston Mm, input force applied by the driver is multiplied several time as we, uh, this means as we as the driver uh, turn left on right the direction of flow also uh, changes okay now the high pressure fluid sent by the hydraulic cylinder then applies the pressure to the attached pinion um, through the coupling mechanism which in turn applies high force to the crank gear and the steering action in the front wheel takes place so due to this supplying uh due to this continuous slipping of the fluid from the linkages then it will work based on this that is a very smooth operation smooth uh, uh, turning takes place with, by the driver okay next the main advantage of this one it will prevent the wheel from transferring the load to steering column so maximum load it will withstand so reduce the driver fatigue so stress out that to compact to reduce compact of turning uh, steering wheel can be reduced um, by the driver and low input torque and continuous steering function uh, continuously steering function can take place oil output directly proportional to the steering speed these are the some advantages of by using steering wheel main disadvantage is fluid leakage takes place when the engine speed high or very running smooth so little small amount of leakage takes place and design is comp um, compact and increase the cost these are the some disadvantage conclusion by studying all these uh, um, power steering concept uh, it is necessary to the modern cars nowadays we can see almost all the cars having power steer uh, without power steering we cannot run the vehicles and it provide the good handling to the driver and also it gives a better comfort and make him less fatigue that is a, it will um, it will make him as a less uh, strength that is the main conclusion of this i hope you understand this working of power steering system uh, thank you